Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Career Prep. In this video, we'll solve a few miscellaneous problems on the topic linear permutation. Since questions based on this topic are most frequently asked in competitive exams, it makes sense to understand the concept well. Questions on linear permutation are dealt with in this video along with clear explanations to make you understand the topic easily. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. For a group photograph, three girls and four boys stand in a line in all possible ways. How many photos could be taken if each photo corresponds to each such arrangement? Here you are given five options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So it's given that there are three girls and four boys. So total number of children is seven. So the total number of arrangements taking all the seven children is 7p7 which is nothing but 7 factorial and 7 factorial is 5040. So 5040 photos can be taken. The correct answer is option A 5040. In how many different ways can 4 boys and 5 girls be seated in a row so that they are alternate. Here you are given five options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So it's given that there are four boys and five girls. So the total number is nine. Now these four boys and five girls have to be seated in a row so that they are alternate. Now since there are more girls as compared to the boys. Uh, start the seating arrangement with the girl. So now you have G1, B1, G2, B2, G3, B3, G4, B4 and G5. Now as you can see here, uh, the, fi the five girls and the uh, four boys are seated in a row in alternate positions. Now, supposing you start the seating arrangement with a boy, then it will be B1, G1, B2, G2, B3, G3, B4, G4. Now, since there are only four boys, the uh, seating arrangement of boys will stop here. And since there are five girls, the uh, last girl would have to be play. Uh, seated in the last position here and if the if a girl is seated in the last position here then two girls will be seated next to each other so as you can see this is not an alternate uh, position so this arrangement is wrong so remember that whenever um, the number of um, girls is more than boys then start the arrange, seating arrangement with a girl. Now we are asked to find in how many different ways the four boys and five girls can be seated in a row so that they are alternate. Now four boys can be seated in four seats in four factorial ways. And five girls can be seated in five uh, seats in five factorial ways. So the number of ways in which four boys and five girls can be seated in a row so that they are alternate is equal to the number of ways the boys can be seated and the number of ways in which the girls can be seated and means multiplication. So the number of ways in which four boys and five girls can be seated in a row so that they are alternate is equal to four factorial multiplied by five factorial. Four factorial is 24, five factorial is 120. So 24 multiplied by 120 is 2880. So there are 
2880 different ways in which the four boys and five girls can be seated so that they are alternate so the correct answer is option b 2880 in how many different ways can five boys and five girls be seated in a row so that they are alternate here you are given five options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one so here it's given that there are five boys and five girls so the total number is 10 now as you can see here uh, the number of boys and uh, girls is the same so five girls and five uh, five boys and five girls can be seated in a row so that they are alternate in two arrangements either starting with a boy or starting with a girl now if the arrangement starts with a boy then the arrangement will be b1 g1 b2 g2 b3 g3 b4 g4 b5 g5 now as you can see here the five boys and the five girls are seated so that they are alternate now the five boys can be seated in the five uh, places in five factorial ways and means multiplication the five girls can be seated in the five places in five factorial ways so the number of ways uh, is equal to 5 factorial multiplied by 5 factorial now if the uh, seating arrangement starts with a girl then the arrangement will look like this g1 b1 g2 b2 g3 b3 g4 b4 g5 b5 as you can see here again the five girls and the five boys are seated alternately now the five girls uh, can be seated in the uh, five places in five factorial ways and and is multiplication the five boys can be seated in the five uh, positions in five factorial ways so the number of ways is five factorial multiplied by five factorial now as you can see here the five boys and five girls can be seated in a row so that they are alternate in two arrangements either starting with a boy or starting with a girl or means addition so number of ways in which five boys and five girls can be seated in a row so that they are alternate is equal to five factorial multiplied by five factorial plus 5 factorial multiplied by 5 factorial this is nothing but 2 multiplied by 5 factorial multiplied by 5 factorial now we know that the value of 5 factorial is 120 so now we have 2 multiplied by 120 multiplied by 120 which is nothing but 28800 so there are 28,800 different ways in which five boys and five girls can be seated in a row so that they are alternate. So the correct answer is option B, 28,800. In how many ways five letters can be posted in three letter boxes available in the locality? Here you are given five options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So five letters have to be posted in the three letter boxes. Now since the number of letters is more than the number of letter boxes, clearly the letter box is repeatable. Now as you can see here, there are five letters and three letter boxes. And each letter can be posted in any of the three letter boxes. That is the first letter can be posted in uh, letter box 1, 2 or 3. Similarly, the second letter can be posted in the letter box 1, 2 or 3 and so on. So, 
each letter can be posted in any of the three letter boxes in 3p1 ways which is three ways so the first letter can be posted in three ways the second letter can be posted in three ways the third letter can be posted in three ways and so on so the required number of ways is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 which is nothing but 243 so there are 243 ways in which five letters can be posted in three letter boxes so the correct answer is option b 243 How many numbers are there between 99 and 1000 having at least one of their digits as 7? Here you are given 5 options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. Now as you can see the number that comes after 99 is 100 which is a 3 digit number. The number which comes before 1000 is 999 which is also a 3 digit number. So the numbers between 99 and 1000 are all three digit numbers. Now here you are asked to find how many numbers are there between 99 and 1000 having at least one of their digits as 7. So the total number of three digit numbers having at least one of their digits as 7 is equal to total number of three digit numbers minus total number of three digit numbers in which 7 does not appear at all. Now first let's find out the total number of three digit numbers. Now in the three digit number uh, for the unit place there are 10 choices that is any of the 10 digits from 0 to 9. So the unit place can be filled in 10 ways. Now for the tens place also there are 10 choices that is any of the 10 digits from 0 to 9. So the tens place can also be filled in 10 ways. Now for the hundreds place there are only 9 choices that is only 9 digits from 1 to 9 because if you put 0 in the hundreds place then you will not get a three digit number you will get a two digit number so the hundreds place has only nine choices so the hundreds place can be filled in nine ways so the total number of three digit numbers is equal to nine multiplied by ten multiplied by ten now let's find out the total number of three digit numbers in which seven does not appear at all now for the unit place there are nine choices that is any of the nine digits from zero to nine excepting seven so the unit place can be filled in nine ways now for the tens place also there are nine choices that is any of the nine numbers from 0 to 9 excepting 7. So the tens place can be filled in nine ways. Now for the hundreds place there are only eight choices. That is any of the eight numbers uh, any of the eight digits from 1 to 9 excepting 7. Here also you cannot uh, put 0 in the hundreds place because then you will get a, a 3 digit number. Then you will get a 2 digit number instead of a 3 digit number. So for the hundreds place um, you cannot put 0 or 7. So you are left with only uh, 8 digits. So the hundreds place can be filled in uh, 8 ways. So the total number of three digit numbers in which seven does not appear at all is eight multiplied by nine multiplied by nine. Now nine multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10 is 900. 
and 8 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 9 is 648. So 900 minus 648 is 252. So 200 and, there are 252 numbers between 99 and 1000 having at least one of their digits as 7. So the correct answer is option B, 252. How many five-digit telephone numbers can be constructed using the digits 0 to 9 if each number starts with 67 and no digit appears more than once? Here you are given five options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. So here five-digit telephone numbers have to be constructed. So let A, B, C, D, E be a five-digit number. It's given that the first two digits of each number are 6 and 7. Therefore, the number is 6, 7, C, D, E. Now, it's given that no digit up should appear more than once. This means repetition is not allowed. So, since repetition is not allowed and the digits 6 and 7 are already taken for uh, the place A and B. Now the digits available for place C are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8 and 9. That is 8 possible digits. So 8 possible digits are available for place C. Now supposing one of uh, these eight possible digits is taken for uh, place C. Then for place D, there will be only seven possible digits. Similarly, uh, since six and seven have already been taken for places A and B and one digit has been taken for place C, one digit has been taken for place D. Now for place E, there are only six possible digits left. So the total five digit numbers with given conditions is equal to the number of ways of filling place C and the number of ways of filling uh, place D and the number of ways of filling place E. E and means multiplication. So the total five digit numbers with the given conditions is equal to 8 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 6 which is 336. So 336 five digit telephone numbers can be constructed using the digits 0 to 9 if each number starts with 67 and no digit appears more than once. So the correct answer is option C, 336. How many integers greater than 999 but not greater than 4000 can be formed with the digits 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 if repetition of digits is allowed? You are given 5 options here and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one. Now here the smallest number in the series is the number after 999 which is 1000 and 1000 is a four digit number. The largest number in the series is 4000 and 4000 is also a four digit number. Observe here that 4000 is the only four digit number in this series to start with four. So the other uh, four digit numbers in this series can uh, start with either 1, 2 or 3. Obviously, the other four digit numbers in the series cannot start with 0 since then you would get a three digit number instead of a four digit number. So, the thousands place of each of the four digit numbers other than 4000 can take one of the three digits 1, 2 or 3. So there are three ways of filling the thousands place. Now since repetition of digits is allowed, 
the next three digits of the four digit numbers that is the hundreds place tens place and the units place can take any of the five given digits 0 1 2 3 or 4 so there are five ways of filling the hundreds place five ways of filling the tens place and five ways of filling the units place so there are three multiplied by five multiplied by five multiplied by five which is 375 numbers from 1000 to 3999 now including 4000 there will be 376 numbers so 376 numbers greater than 999 but not greater than 4000 can be formed with the digits 0 1 2 3 and 4 if repetition of digits is allowed so the correct answer is option a 376 how many numbers greater than 10 lakhs can be formed using the digits 1 2 0 2 4 2 4 here you are given five options and you have to find out which of these options is the correct one so here numbers greater than 10 lakhs have to be formed using the given digits 1 2 0 2 4 2 4 so here the total number of um, digits given is 7 now the numbers have to be greater than 10 lakhs so they can begin either with 1 or 2 or 4 now when 1 is fixed at the extreme left position the remaining digits to be rearranged will be 0 2 2 2 4 4 in which there are three twos and two fours now the digits to be rearranged is 6 in number so overall factorial is 6 and out of which there are three twos and two fours so repeat factorials are three factorial and two factorial so the total numbers beginning with one is equal to six factorial divided by three factorial multiplied by two factorial now six factorial is 720 3 factorial is 6 and 2 factorial is 2. So 3 multiplied by 2 is, uh, 6 multiplied by 2 is 12. So 720 divided by 12 is 60. So 60 uh, numbers beginning with 1 can be formed using the given digits. Now when 2 is fixed at the extreme left position, the remaining digits to be rearranged will be 0, 1, 2, 2, 4, 4, in which there are two twos and two fours. So here the remaining digits are 6 in number. So the overall factorial is 6 factorial. There are two twos and two fours. So the repeat factorials are 2 factorial and 2 factorial. So the total numbers beginning with 2 is equal to 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial. 6 factorial is 720, 2 factorial is 2. So 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. So 720 divided by 4 is 180. So there are 180 numbers beginning with uh, 2 that can be formed using the given digits. When 4 is fixed at the extreme left position, the remaining digits to be arranged will be 0, 1, 2, 2, 2, 4, in which there are 3 twos. So, the remaining digits here are 6 in number. So, overall factorial is 6 factorial. And there are 3 twos. So, repeat factorial is 3 factorial. So the total numbers beginning with 4 is equal to 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial. 6 factorial is 720, 3 factorial is 6. 720 divided by 6 is 120. 
So 120 numbers beginning with four can be formed from the given digits. So the numbers uh, greater than uh, 10 lakhs have to be formed using the given digits and these numbers can begin either so these numbers can begin either with 1 or 2 or 4 so there are 60 numbers beginning with 1 180 numbers beginning with 2 and 120 numbers beginning with 4 so the required number of numbers is equal to 60 plus 180 plus 120 which is 360 so 360 numbers greater than 10 lakhs can be formed using the given digits. So the correct answer is option D, 360. Viewers, please go through this video till you have understood the concept. Please do watch all our videos on solved problems on linear permutations for better understanding. Please do watch our video on solved problems on linear permutations part 4 if you have liked this video please like subscribe and share this video thank you